Alright guys, um, I'm going to try something for the first time, I haven't tried it before. I have my brother's project gun here, the Flat Dark Earth, the AR-15 that he bought. And as I told you, we're going to try and pull the muzzle brake off, which I already did. I temporarily took my reloader off the bench, mounted my, my brand new vise. I got the soft jaws here, they're very thick plastic, and they're, it's supposed to prevent from marring any, uh, projects that you're doing so it seems to work I did put a wrench on this this is definitely pinned without a doubt in my mind the problem with this one is they pinned it so well I don't know exactly where the pin is located so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand around here with my Dremel a little sanding thing and see if I can locate the pin and from that point on I'm gonna determine how I'm gonna try and pull this off I gotta try and get the I assume it's welded on, so I'm going to try and cut the weld off with cutting disc. And I'm going to try and do all this without damaging the barrel. Yes, unfortunately, this is what I have to go through in Jersey. I want to change the A2 front sight on his project gun. And I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. This one here is my Palmetto State Armory upper. Now, this was sent to me, not New Jersey compliant, because I didn't buy it as a full rifle. I just bought it as an upper. It has the bayonet lug, and this is not pinned. I know this because I already backed this off, and I just snugged it back up. As you can tell, it's not really timed. You know, I don't know. There you go. See? So I know that's not pinned. Uh, I will be replacing that and pinning that, and this front A2 site is coming off. So, guys, uh, bear with me here. I'm going to try and do the best I can. This is the first time I'm doing this. You guys are along for the ride with me. I have my safety glasses. For the use of my Dremel. Alright, so um, bear with me guys and we'll see how this works out. Put my glasses on and we're going to try and find this weld. Forgot to mention. I want to put some uh, electrical tape. So that if I do slip, it hits the tape and not the barrel. Almost forgot. I want to. As you can see, you have the crush washer right there. So I'm going to put a nice thick layer of tape on there. So in case I have a little slippage. It doesn't damage anything. And I can always take the tape off and it's electrical tape. Ain't gonna do much. Alright, I almost forgot that guys. Let's try this again. Alright, it doesn't seem to be there. We're gonna flip the upper up oh, sorry about that. I flipped the upper upside down. I should have probably did that assuming that it was on the bottom anyway. But let's see uh Tighten this up. Let's see what happens, guys. Again, this is all new to me, because if I can't find the pin, I'm just going to start cutting the bitch off. And worst case scenario, I fucked the barrel up, and my brother's got to buy a new barrel. All right, here we go. All right, it doesn't appear to be there either. Well, he's got a nice shiny muzzle brake on the end now. Let's take a nice close look at this. Alright, I don't see the spot where it's pinned. But... I know for a fact it is, I couldn't get it off. And by law it has to be for them to sell it in our state. So with that being said guys, I know you're going to cringe. But I looked all around it. And there doesn't seem to be any sign of a pin. Normally it should be in the flat spot. But Alright, let's, uh, let's start cutting guys. 
what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to cut a straight line here. Now I could see that if I look down there, I could see the threads. So I know it was threaded on. It had to have been. It's not machined like this. Um, and if it was machined, you probably wouldn't have a crush washer. So I'm just going to take on the flat side, I'm going to carefully cut along down here and on the other side and see if I can split it in two. Like I said, guys, worst case scenario, my brother's asked out, he's got to buy a new one. And then we'll just start all over. Not that he wants to, but it's a learning process for everybody that's watching and everybody involved. Make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I wish we'd be, I mean, I don't know what kind of safety feature this is doing, you know, having a permanently affixed muzzle brake. There you go, got a cutting wheel on there. And again, I got my safety glasses. We don't want any accidents. So, uh, I mean, I know it's not going to do nothing, but I don't know. Alright, I'm just going to cut down the front here so that it's a continuous line. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Alright, well, I can see movement. And I definitely did not hit the threads. So that's a good thing. I just wish I knew where that weld was. So now what I'm going to do is flip it over and do the same thing that I did here on the other side. Making sure it's not hot. It's a little warm. want to be gunsmith overnight. Here we go. Okay, let's see what that does. Wow, made that look pretty fucking easy, huh? Well, I know that bitch is going to be hot. Well, I can see the pin right there. There it goes. And it looks like I nicked the threads a little bit. But that shouldn't matter. Wow, they pinned it on both sides. They pinned it on two sides. That's why it was so damn hard. Wow. Alright, let's uh Alright, well that may be a little bit of an issue now, because the threads on this barrel are different than, say, the threads on my Palmetto State Armory one. 
these are a lot thinner than these threads here. Unless, bear with me guys, just bear with me guys. I think I see something. Is that a collar? It sure is. It sure, surely is. Um, well, guys, I was unprepared for this. Let me, uh, hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. What I had to do, hold on, let me get it, because I just did it now. Those two little things there are the pin, all right? And I'm going to show you what I just ran into, and I was not expecting this. So let me uh, show you. I'm trying to adjust the video camera, so don't mind the shakiness. Alright, what you're looking at right now, of course, while I'm trying to do this. Oh, here you go. What you're looking at is the tip of the barrel. Hold on, let me set the camera so it stops moving. Alright, stop. What you're looking at right there. See that little hole right there? That's where the pin was and there's another one there. And you can see where I hit the threads. Uh, slightly, which probably wouldn't have damaged anything if I was able to put the muzzle brake back on there. But as you can see, this is my this is my new muzzle brake right there. All right, focus in. All right, let's wait a half hour for the camera to focus. There you go. All right, that is my new muzzle brake right there. It does not fit on there. So I almost shit a brick thinking, okay, I did fuck up the barrel. But on further inspection, what I'm noticing, if I take these, it's not really the right vice grip for it, but I just don't feel like going downstairs getting my other one. is this is a collar that I guess from the factory they use to pin the muzzle brake um, and this isn't actually my new one this is my Palmetto, Palmetto State Armory one that was basically identical to the one I just cut off and it screws right on there's no damage to these threads I got a new crush washer so basically what I'm gonna have to do is when my brother gets the new muzzle brake which he did order, just waiting for it to come in. Uh, hold on, I do... Here, better yet, for shits and goo giggles. Let me, uh... Let me do something real quick. Uh, da, da. There you go. Let me... That's a new crush washer right there. This is going to be my, this is my Troy uh, Medieval 5.56 muzzle brake that I'm going to put on my build. But just to give you an idea what, it, what it's going to somewhat look like. So obviously, I don't want to wrench it on all the way. I mean, all right. Let me uh, zoom out, guys. So basically, it's on. I mean, it's not tight. You can see, which I can still. I don't. I don't want to do it because it's not. This isn't the right foot it's going to be on. 
but this is the muzzle brake that's going to be on mine and uh there you go guys this is i don't even know where the other piece went i'm sure it's around here somewhere but oh damn it's right in front of me this is how i took it off guys i cut it down the front here i couldn't find the pins don't know how the hell they pinned it and they must have Oh, there it is. If you look on the inside, there's a hole there. So they drilled a hole in here, a hole in there, dropped the pin in, and must have just tack welded it, sanded it all nicey nice. But you can see the holes there on that side and that side. And it was not on the flat spot like I would assume it would. But that's garbage. And for anybody doing it in the future, there most likely will be a collar, I guess, so that you're not drilling into the barrel. But if uh, either I'm going to do it or for $45 or $50, there's a gun, gunsmith not too far from here for $45, $50. Bucks, they'll actually pin it for me. But let me take it out of the vise. I might just do it myself only because the holes are pre-drilled into the, into the barrel. Or I shouldn't say holes, the little indents. Let's say there's one. And then when you flip it to the other side, there's two. Alright, it's so it's already <laughs> guys, it really wasn't that hard. Let me zoom all the way out. This is the project gun. Now it's missing the muzzle brake. So now my next step is I could back this A2 front sight off, which I'm not sure if I'll do tonight. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, I just might post this and do the A2 front sight on another vid. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I know it's a bullshit law, just like uh, pinning my stock is a bullshit law, but right now this gun is now illegal. It cannot be shot. It cannot be done until we affix the, the muzzle brake. Alright guys, thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and stay safe guys, take it easy.